a blinker RGB using this LED This is a uh, slow flash LED You can see here we have the anode and the cathode Kind cathode is the short uh, leg anode is the long leg We're going to use the adjustable power supply to test the voltage and the current of this uh, LED by connecting the negative to the short leg which is the cathode and then the long leg which is the anode to the positive and supplying the the LED with uh, by adjusting the voltage of this uh, adjustable power supply let us supply the LED with the uh, this uh, by using this uh, supply supplying the LED with uh, by adjusting the voltage let us say uh, 2 volts so it starts uh, changing its color okay but the voltage is not enough we need uh, at least a current of uh, 20 milliampere. Ten ampere, ten, uh, ten milliampere, twelve. So twelve milliampere. With a current of uh, approximately twelve milliampere, variable uh, current. We have this 2.47 volts. That is the voltage. Uh, okay, voltage across the LED. At green color, we don't have the the current reading, which is uh, it is a uh, very minimal. While uh, changing the color, we have this uh, 10 milliampere and a wattage of 0 0.022 milliwatt. So this type of LED is uh, a self-oscillating LED. Self-oscillating, it means uh, there is an... Uh, built-in oscillator inside the LED we do not need any driver to make the LED to blink or uh, as should I say uh, to work because it is self oscillating LED it is capable of changing color changing the blinking pattern so it is an uh, automatic uh, LED blinker and uh, this is RGB LED. Now we have the pin out for the slow flash uh, RGB LED. This is the actual uh, LED. The long leg is the anode. 
anode. And the short leg is K, cathode. That is the symbol, K for cathode. And this is the actual symbol, anode, referring to the arrow, and then cathode to the bar, horizontal bar. Then we have the, since this is light emitting diode, we have the arrow pointing away to the arrow. And uh, it is connected to our uh, circuit diagram by a uh, variable power supply. So it is variable. It is capable of changing the voltage. So upon testing, we have the voltage. We know that the voltage is uh, around 2.47. That's the, the voltage across the LED both to point and the current is with a maximum of uh, 0 0.012 ampere or uh, 12 milli ampere okay so upon varying the voltage we may know we now know that the voltage necessary to turn on this LED is 2.47 volts with the current with the current of uh, 0.012 ampere so the current flows from uh, conventional current flow positive of the voltage then positive of or the anode to draw the anode cathode so the current flows from anode to cathode then back to the negative or to the ground. That is the standard or conventional current law. Voltage 2.47 volts and a maximum current of 12 milliampere. We are now using uh, an external power bank 5 volts and we have this module so we use uh, an external resistor because our supply is 5 volts and this is our this is now our uh, module
So in figure 4 we have the actual wiring of our module, the LED, the resistor and the pin header. So if we're going to use the resistor with resistor we are going to connect the positive to S1 then to the negative. Without resistor just connect this uh, left side S2 and the negative with resistor S1 the positive side of the supply and negative without resistor S2 the positive one and then the negative so this is a dual uh, purpose uh, module So this is now the schematic diagram of our uh, RGB LED slow plus and this one we resistor we are using a resistor because we are using a 5 volt supply which is the power bank so using the external supply we need to connect a resistor in series with the LED and we are going to compute for the value of the resistor using Kirchhoff's voltage law the sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero so current flows from here then back to negative conventional current law using Kirchhoff's law voltage supply minus the voltage across R1 and across the LED voltage supply minus voltage uh, of the load of the two loads since we know the voltage supply 5 volts, voltage across R1 and then the voltage across uh, D1 is 2.47 from our uh, power supply testing and then for the computation we have the voltage across R1 uh, transposition to the right then we have 2.53 2.53 volts that is the voltage across the resistor so if this is 2.47 and then 2.53 the sum of the two voltages of the resistor and the LED is equal to the supply so voltage of the LED and the voltage of the resistor voltage in series is to be divided so the voltage supply is divided into to become voltage of the resistor and the voltage of the LED the RGB using Ohm's law to find the value of a resistor Ohm's law voltage is equal to current times resistance we know the voltage across R1 to know the value of R1 2.53 volts from the computed value then current at R1 since the current here is constant current in series is constant the current at the r1 is equal to the current that flows into the led and then r1 by uh, transposition r1 now is equal to 210.83 ohms we need the resistor value of 210.83 ohms but we don't have the available uh, resistor commercial value so instead I'm using 470 ohms resistor so now the value of uh, R1 is 470 ohms we have now this uh, module with 470 ohms resistor uh, you can use uh, a resistor 200 10 and above but uh, do not use less than 210 that is the the use of the computation of uh, the resistor in the circuit